Hi, and welcome to Talk of the Town. I'm your host, Jessa Jeremiah. We have an exciting show for you today. We're going to talk about some things that are Halloween. We're going to also touch base with some local businesses. And first, we're going to talk to you a little bit about fall, how to drink bourbon, and some cocktails we're going to make with Liz Henry today from J. Henry & Sons. Thanks so much for being with us. Thank you for having me. Exciting to have you back on the program. This is great timing because we're going to talk a little bit about fall bourbon cocktails. And this will be great for me because I'm not sure I know how to mix a <laughs> bourbon cocktail. So first of all, Let's talk about that. Can you make a mixed drink out of bourbon? Absolutely. A lot of people say that you should never do that. The purists say drink it straight up or neat. Sometimes people will allow you to add a little water or to put it on the rocks. However, most people, especially people who aren't yet indoctrinated in drinking bourbon, really like to ease into it. It's an acquired taste, and they like to ease into it with some delicious craft cocktails that are something they're more accustomed to, more approachable. Awesome. So we're going to talk a little bit about what those cocktails are. First, give us a little bit of insight into J. Henry and & Sons and what you guys do. So we are a fourth generation seed corn producing farm in Dane, Wisconsin, and we grow all the grains in our mash bill. This under the metals happens to be our mash bill, which is the combination of grains that we put together to produce the bourbon. And we grow this heirloom red corn, wheat, rye, and barley malt, and put that together. So everything we make is a four grain bourbon. We've been doing it for almost a decade, but we've only been on the market Three Bring that years. around. Look at that. <laughs> Only on the market three years, and you can barely see the bottle because there are so many awards on there. So congrats. I have to credit my husband with really making good bourbon. I see. <laughs> Thank you. Evident in the award-winning bottle that you have there. So let's talk a little bit about the kinds of cocktails that you're recommending for fall. First of all, you've got a beautiful arrangement here. I'm impressed with the display. Well, thank you. I, fall is my favorite time of year. It's such a wonderful season, and October just superseded June as the month to get married in. So a Did lot it. of people are running around celebrating their bachelor parties, bachelorette parties, there are tailgates, there are holidays coming, and there are just a lot of really good reasons to get together with family and friends, and bourbon is all about enjoying the taste and the flavors with your family and friends. So I think when you're going seasonal, which is what all of our local chefs do, it's really fun to think about things that you may have available or things that you haven't had for a while, like um, fresh pressed apple cider. I'm gonna make sure our viewers can see these beautiful drinks because they are so gorgeous. Well, thank Look you. at that. So this one is fresh pressed apple cider. We make it in a couple of ways. We can make a apple cider press, which is bourbon, apple cider, and a sparkling cider. It's a really nice way to lighten it up. You can serve it hot or cold. And I so, like the presentation of the glass you've chosen, the little you. apple slice on there. Thank you. It's just beautiful. We also make a drink called a caramel apple this time of year, which is bourbon, uh, fresh pressed cider, and a salted caramel syrup. And people love it because it tastes like a caramel apple. <laughs> <laughs> That's awesome. Another okay. hot or cold service is, um, this one is a farmer's cocktail. So cute. It's bourbon, lemonade, and fresh mint. Um, you can get mint all year round. So this one is served cold. It's a very nice, light, and refreshing drink. Um, but you can also get it um, served hot. Hot lemonade is a really nice, soothing drink to have if you're chilled a little bit. So this term of craft cocktails comes up a lot. And what a beautiful array that you have here. You. I want to talk a little bit about um, what makes your bourbon so unique. You discussed some of the ingredients that are in it, and I also want to talk about what's coming up this fall for J. Henry and Hansons and how people can come and visit. Well, thank you. Um, we especially enjoy this time of year for bringing people into our tasting room. Our tasting room is the home my husband grew up in, and it's open Thursday through Monday from noon to 5, with tours on the even hours, so noon, two, four, and six on Fridays and Saturdays. And we ask that people go to our website, jhenryandsons.com, and schedule a tour because we really focus on education. Awesome. We want people to have a chance to understand why our bourbon is different, 
because of this heirloom red corn, for example, because we're growing everything grain to glass on our farm. Um, and then we also want to share some of the stories about bourbon in general, how we won some of these awards, and how they can hopefully enjoy it at home. Oh, so fun talking to you. This is Liz Henry, bourbon babe, whiskey woman, wife, mother, owner, and CMO. Cheers. I love it. We'll be back with more Talk of the Town after the break. <laughs>